Floss Who. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we're the Boss Stitchers. Thanks for joining us. This is episode 61, and today is February 5th. And a very happy birthday to our friend Missy. Yes, happy birthday. And two needles pulling thread. Yes. Yeah. Can't wait to see you, what your progress is on your birthday start. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Missy had a very, very cold day to celebrate her birthday on well, yesterday. I think she had a birthday celebration oh. with the oh, family. Oh, yes. Yeah. And wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty, well, it was incredibly cold here. Mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday day. Yeah. And now it's like, 40 at least out, right? Yeah. 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 It's really yeah. It's nice in the sun. But yeah, yeah, it is. But yeah, it, oh, was, it was brutal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to um, see my niece yesterday. And, um, you know, when I got in the car, it was minus seven. So, uh, yeah. no, actually, it was minus nine. By the time I got to the house, it had warmed up a little bit to minus seven. <laughs> So, just, I bet you really noticed oh, that. Oh man, one of those days you just could not get warm. Oh, it was, yeah. It, how it, is your? It was brutal. How is your great Easter? So day? I have to thank everyone so much for all your prayers and well wishes. Um, she really did very very well, um, and it was I we. So for all of you medical people out there. Um, she had a TEF repair, which is a tracheal esophageal fistula. And uh, we expected it. It was a very um, delicate surgery. We expected the surgery to be eight hours. And um, so it got to be about 5.30. And um, so I texted her mother and she said, that, you know, because she, she had given me updates as as the day went on, they were coming out every couple hours and giving her updates. Um, but about 5.30, I hadn't heard anything in a couple hours. So I said, what's going on? And the surgeon said, uh, she said, oh, they, they said it's going to be another 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So then 7 o'clock came around mm -hmm. and I texted her again, said, what's going on? And she said, they're going to need another hour. So wow. a eight hour that we had planned for turned into a 12 hour surgery. That was um, the longest day of their lives, uh, huh? Yeah. Um, and it was, um, though the, it was very successful. Um, the surgeon said, although it was long, it was successful. Um, she was intubated uh, for, so she had the surgery on a Monday. She was intubated for um, four days. Mm. So on, which, you know, she was, they kind of had her sedated, but she was also aware and mm. she kept wanting to pull the tube out. Yeah. Um, so she was just really agitated. Um, but they took the tube out um on thursday uh they took her chest tube out on friday and put uh released her from icu and so on saturday i went to see her in the hospital and she just like i got her to smile and laugh but she you could just see she was so tired yeah. and just exhausted and um you know, but, you know, medical staff is coming in all the time, I too. And, you know, yeah. she was on antibiotics. And so, you know, she wasn't really getting any rest. Yeah. Um, and then, um, so they, they kept her in the hospital Saturday to observe her. And she went home Sunday afternoon. So she wow. was in the hospital for less than a week. Yeah. Um, That's and, incredible. And that was actually, she went home, like, two weeks ago today and um <coughs> i saw her yesterday and she's harley i mean <laughs> she's like i i was shocked i was really shocked yeah. at, at how well she's doing 
I mean, she's running around. She's, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's like it never happened. <laughs> she's got a, um, she's got an incision on her neck and then she's got a big, like right underneath her shoulder blade. She's got wow. a pretty long zipper. Uh, hmm. but, um, yeah, I mean, she's doing great. Yeah. And, the, and the, <laughs> the funny yeah. thing is, you know, you figure, oh, you know, this kid's you know, she's two and a half. She had a 12 hour surgery, mm -hmm. you know, when, they don't want to see her again until March. <laughs> so there's no follow up until March. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but you know, like the surgeon I said, I guess it, they know. Huh? Surgeon yeah. said it was successful. And you know, I mean, when you look at her, yeah, you, yeah, can, you looks, can see that it was. Yeah. And, um, yeah. so it's kind of like, well, she has no problems. She's so, back to know, the same see sweet March. little personality. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh God, she's a doll. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yes, but I really have to thank everybody. Um, it was, um, very nice to, uh, to see the outpouring of, um, prayers and concerns. So I, I really appreciate it. Um, so, um, another thing that I wanted to mention was, our friend, <laughs> our friend Maureen from from New Jersey. I forgot to mention this last time. So Maureen, you know, it, she's a lovely, lovely woman. I yes. love spending time with her. And um, so on last, not a last floss tube, the floss tube before, uh, she um, commented and said that, you know, um, like she was impressed or whatever the word that she used, but that um, I was going to be bringing at least 10 charts to each um, retreat. retreat that we go to, um, to put them on the freebie table. And so she said, you know, it's good that you, you know, bring in 10 charts. And then she says, <laughs> I hope you bring less than 10 home. <laughs> That Maureen, she's perceptive. <laughs> they, I'm not making any guarantees. Thanks you know? for the fact check on that, Maureen. <laughs> Good point. Well, it depend, you know, it just depends on how many old charts are there. You know, because, All right. Um, so, anyway, I thought that was... I, 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 I thought that was pretty funny. That's good. So, anyway... Um, we should start talking about stitching. Okay. Do you want to throw out the first stitch? I'd love to. Okay. Play ball! Okay. So number one for me is a mail mail. And this was in my haul last time. And, you know, I um, often copy Jane's ideas good and <laughs> <laughs> but this was a good one I think she had jumped on the Mill Hill band Mill Hill Monday bandwagon mm. and I thought oh that sounds kind of fun yeah oops sorry so I think I have two so I don't have oops, sorry about the needle sticking out there I don't um you know have anything too interesting to show for it but mm -hmm. I've pretty much got um Almost all the outline done. Yeah, that's great. So I guess I'm looking forward to very nice tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, and I'll get a little bit more done. Yeah, excellent. Um, we laughed about this last time. I've been drawn to this <laughs> one for years. Finally, put this out of my <laughs> and Jane's misery. And um, no, I doubt this will lead to any actual camping oh, on my come part. On. <laughs> Um, so that's my start on that. Now, geez, another idea I copied was <laughs> um, snow day stitching. And as I enthused about that last time, I think that's a great idea. So this is Prairie Schooler Christmas Tree Farm. And we certainly had cold, as we discussed. I can't remember if we really had much in the way of snow days. I don't think so. No. Since we there was one did a taping. I think there was one. Yes, there was I one. Think I we got a little was, bit of snow, and yeah. then and then it 
it stopped, but it counted. Yeah, so I, I did get by, I think, on a technicality and get some in. <laughs> so I pretty much had, I had sort of the border done, but then I started just filling along to make sure it was on the right track there mm. and continued and started a little bit of um, the bottom border. So this is a really fun one to work yeah. on. I think this will most definitely keep my attention during snow days. Yeah. And I am really looking forward to it snowing another day. Uh-huh. See, there you go. At least yeah, there I you go. Don't need to particularly do yeah. anything in it. So. I like how they did the little um Oh they the showed you the little things ones things too. too. Yeah. yeah. Look at these are yeah. cute. Those are cute. cute. I like the I like the truck with the barn. That's, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. But I dove into the big one. Yeah. You know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Go no bigger, go home. Right. No halfway for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, this um next project, which, by the way, is stored in my beautiful new um, project portfolio from... Um, Studio, Studio 88 West. West. Mm. And... This is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The quilted fabric on this, the nice clasp, and all these nice little pockets for all the floss. Mm -hmm. And tucked securely in here, whoops, the chart. Now, the I've camel, seen this chart before. I was gonna say, the camel <laughs> observer might say, gee, Last episode, you claimed that this was a uh, finished a finish. object, finished mm -hmm. object, and, and actually had just sent it off to our, our finisher. And um, But as I think I have commented, <laughs> I am just entirely smitten with this, <laughs> which Andrea of New York Needleworker kindly has let me borrow and has extended the timeline on that. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. So I have started that again, and I've actually got a fair amount done on it. Mm. This, gee, oddly enough, the sun is pouring through here. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe if I put this up next to the sun, that blocks it all. I think mm. that's a little better. Yeah, so this is such a fun one to work on. And I also, um, we'll talk maybe a little bit more about Boss Me, our version of WIPCO, but um, I actually had five days on our Prairie Schooler called okay. for February. Okay, so perfect. I have gotten right to that. All right. Yeah. So number two on the way there, I guess. That's good. No. How, many, how many more times are you going to stitch that? I don't know. I <laughs> As long as Andrea lets me, I guess. You'll always have one going. Right, I know. I always try to do try to have um, one of the Prairie School of Santas going, but in the past I have varied that, but right now it's strictly 2012. <laughs> so next is one I didn't have as much of an accomplishment on. This is Last Stitch Cemetery, and... You know, I, I shared last time how I was having a little problem with this. This was one of my boss needs for last month, and I did not make as much progress as I would like to on this. And forgive the needle as well in this button thread. Um, I was going to do five days on this, and I don't really think that... I think I've got more like three, and I don't feel like those were productive days. I am going to continue with this in um, February for a while. Um, at well, some once, point. It's, once it's done, you can still check it off. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh. Um, so I got a little bit more. As I said last time, I had um, uh, one error in counting, and I kind of figured I resolved that. It was easy, but it wasn't as easy as I thought. So I think that's <laughs> part of the slog. <laughs> that and then it's a lot of um the browns various shades of it and i think i like a little more color to mm -hmm. you know keep me awake but anyway i do want to get back to that and finish that um as i've said before been selling that with 
Tracy of OG Stitchery. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't get too ahead of me, Tracy. <laughs> and Kristen, um, that we know from a stitching group at the World of She's Stitches. She's no longer in the stitch along. I know. She's she <laughs> like she sailed past us and did a beautiful color conversion. Yeah. To boot. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that. So I think was that everything? Yeah, I think that was it. That's All my right. whips. Okay. <coughs> so um, I too am doing um, Mill Hill Monday. And you can, um, there's actually a hash, hashtag for that. Um, there's two actually. There's one that's Mill Hill Monday oh, it, yeah. and Mill Hill Mondays. So, um, you know, pick whichever one you want, I guess. <laughs> uh, Do you have a preference? Um, I think there's more um, followers or uh, more people in that post on to Mill Hill Monday. Okay. Yeah. So mine is a uh, button and beads, um, Christmas Village, and this is Tree Farm. And I have, I decided that I would stop some of the stitching and just, because I wanted to start putting in some of the beads. What is um, this? Let's see. Let me, uh, yeah, let me see yeah, if that will work. Block some of that side. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. So... Um, I started putting in the beads, um, up on the roof here and in the sign. Um, and this is the first time I've ever done beading and it takes longer than I thought it might, <laughs> but, and I'm, I'm also learning because if, if I really, uh, show the white beads up at the top here, there are some that are going um, horizontal and some that are going vertical. And I've, I've figured out why it's the way you- Tell me again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but wait a minute, I wanna yeah. return to something first. Mm, mm. I thought I heard this is the first time that you're doing any beating. Yeah. And didn't you do Mill Hill Mondays all last year? Wait, did I? What did I do then? Well, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> no, I did do Mill Hill Mondays before. You're right. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to follow up on this, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. What did I do last year? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Well, more to more to come on that. But, All right. But I'm going gonna, I'm yeah, gonna to write this down again. Okay. Your directions. The future. Well, so, I mean, I'm certainly not an expert, but what I've figured out is um, if you do your first stitch from um, either uh, top right. right to bottom left or bottom left to top right, and then your second stitch from the bottom right to top left, that makes the bead horizontal but if you do your top stitch from top right, right to, to bottom, bottom left, left then it makes it mm. no 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 so other way around way, either way you're doing top right to bottom left right and if you do it bottom right to top left that's horizontal so if you do a top right to bottom left and then top left to bottom right that's how you get it straight? Yeah, so, yes. So, top, so I do top right to bottom left. Bottom left. Right. And then top, top right, right to, um, I mean, sorry, top, top left, left to bottom, to bottom right, right is straight. Is horizontal. That's what you said about. But bottom then, right yeah, top left. Yeah, but I made a mistake. Oh, okay. All so right. then, bottom, yeah. So bottom right to top left is vertical. Bottom right to top left, horizontal. I mean, not vertical. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, well, I hope you do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm plugging along. Oh, sorry for the thread. 
Um, I did want to show though, um, this needle minder I have here is actually a, like a bead buddy type thing. <laughs> and um, so if I, it's a little case. So if I take the top off, I can pour some beads in there and um, it's a needle minder. That is really cool. It is cool. Yeah. I like that. And I got it at um, the World in Stitches and it's called um, Bead Buddies um, by the Meredith Collection. And, um, you know, it's not a, it's not really a needle minder because you can't really put your yeah. needle on it, but it, but it's a, it's a bead minder. So. Yeah, it's just the right size for that. Yeah, I like, yeah, it, yeah, it's good. You just pour a few in there and yeah. it, I think it's great. It's worked well for me. That's good. Okay. Then my second um whip is uh this Winnie the Pooh tree and this is in it was one of your boss meets wasn't it yes so yeah. I had um 10 hours on <coughs> Stony Creek the Ark right and I had right. 10 hours on this so I completed my 10 hours and oh yeah this is in this is in my oh. studio 88 west bag with um material that i got um in alaska that's gorgeous and you've got a lot done on this yeah so um i have a thread hanging but oh no i don't i can take it off oh no i can't Sorry, guys. We'll, we'll look yeah. beyond that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, friends. <laughs> All right. So I'm working on the um, on the top left, and there's the tree there. And here's Tigger. Uh, so I did a bunch of the tree uh, leaves. And for the tree itself, I'm, I decided not to use... DMC, I'm going to use a variegated because mm. I just thought maybe the DMC would be a little too boring with all that brown. So, um, I'm instead of, I'm, got, I'm using actually um, gingerbread uh, by Color and Cotton and sugar maple by Color and Cotton. So that's a, a darker and a lighter um, brown. And there's actually three browns in the tree. One is um, one is very uh, light, so I um, I just picked a, a and it's a few stitches. So I just picked a DMC that you know something that matched yeah. gingerbread and, yeah. and um, sugar maple. So. Nice. So that is completed for wow. January. <clears throat> But this is, it's kind of like the arc, you know, I start working yeah. on this and I'm like, oh, I should keep, you know, I, know. I should keep working on that, which uh. I might. Um, and then I had, um, I've been wanting to, I've been really itching to do a bunch of smalls. Yeah. And um, so I started, let's see, um, four, I think. Wow. Um, but, you know, and. You know, I, floss tubers do this, and and I don't like it. So, and I and I don't like that I'm doing this. But two of the smalls I can't show because there are people who are, might be watching. And so, anyway, so I can't show two. But then I thought, well, I got to start something so that I can show the people. So, don't you I, love having that reason for justification? Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, oh, oh and this is. Um, this is my yeah. portfolio, and really with yep, and it's got like all kinds of pockets. This one has a zipper pocket. It's got a place for your needle, your floss. <coughs> um, this one love that coordinating fabric. Yes, this fits in. This fits a, um, a six, six by six, six, six? Q snap. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I have Arctic Animals by the Little Stitcher. And I decided to start with the penguin. Oh, good choice. And I'm using, um, uh, 
card is this? This is, is this 18 count or 28 count? Um, I don't, it's I don't the, like 28, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the um, Petty, Petty Point. Point. Yeah, yeah I Petty like Point those. fabric. That's a gray one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's my penguin. Almost all the black is done. So that's good. And this is fun to stitch. So you get some immediate um, gratification there, right? Yeah, think. I think yeah. so. Uh, and that's perfect. It looks like snow in the background. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. I like it. It's really cute. That's great. Yeah. So um, started this one. Um, I'm gonna start another one. Um, it's a puffin. Oh, so um, so I'll start that, <coughs> and then. Um, I am going to think about other ones to do for smalls, for smalls exchange. Ooh, so this, that's a good idea. this will probably be an exchange actually. Okay. And the puffin. Um, but I like so many of these animals. They're <laughs> also, they're also cute. They're, she puts together you know, good selections. Yeah. Yeah. She's got the Arctic animals. Um, the puffin I didn't bring, but the puffin is, um, I think the puffin is Arctic animals too. And then she has water animals and farm animals. <laughs> and um, so. You love uh, the home and the I definitely will because I love these. And <coughs> this seems to be stitching up pretty it, it quickly. It certainly does. So. <laughs> All right. And then another okay. one that I started, and this is um, in an attempt to. Um, keep my promise of bringing at least 10 things to, <laughs> uh, to retreats. I've had this book for a while and there's only one project that I want to stitch in it and it's a small. Um, this is called The Cross Stitch Christmas Book. It's by Coates and Clark Ooh. and it is <laughs> from 1982. And it, it does say in here that it's a first edition. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you want to say that then. <laughs> so this is the book. Um, I can't say I remember that. Did you pick that up at a uh, event? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm returning it. I, don't, I can't remember which freebie table I got it off of. But. You need to show something on the back there for yeah. a minute. Right. So that's the front. And this now, is the see back. this thing? Is this yeah. like a ribbon holder? I don't. <laughs> or is it like is maybe it's just sewn on for decoration? I think it's sewn on for decoration. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's sewn you know on what for I decoration. Kind of like, but I'm not going to make you hold on to it and wait <laughs> for me. <laughs> Why? Um, I kind of like those wise men. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, and that little thing, but. They'll stitch up real quick. And they will. They yeah. will. But they they can stitch up real quick for someone else who comes to one of the <laughs> events. And... So you may think <laughs> that I picked up this book for the nativity. And what? why would they think that? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually thinking, was thinking about it, but I'm not gonna do the nativity. I'm gonna do the um Christmas Eve village scene. I think that's the name of it. Christmas Eve village scene. So I'm doing this one right here because I'm a sucker for a horse with a sleigh. <laughs> this is actually not, this is not a sleigh. It's really more of a sled, but I like the colors in this and it's small. Well, I'm glad you didn't because I'd, li I'd like to make fun of one other. <laughs> I am <right> here. <laughs> Let me just tell the peoples oh, first. All right. okay. So this one is 65 by 60, and I don't have to stitch the white. I'll see how it looks. I might end up stitching the white anyway, because you know how sometimes it doesn't yeah. really look good yeah. if you don't? But I'll stitch all the colors first and then see what happens. Okay. Go ahead. Make, <coughs> make fun of these poor Coates and Clark people. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. I mean, obviously, because it's Coates and Clark, that's the thread that they suggest that you use. <laughs> but it was kind of nice of them to have the foresight to list DMC colors, too. <laughs> right. But aside from that, mm. okay, is this piece not fully finished? 
Or does anyone else <laughs> think it's odd that Santa's wearing a white suit? <laughs> They, have you ever, oh, yeah. have you ever mm -hmm. seen Santa in a white suit? Never. Or, like, did they just show it halfway done? <laughs> <laughs> there nope. he is. No, I think no you they... don't stitch it. <clears throat> no. Juicy, what a thought. I think that must have been Coats and, <laughs> Coats and Clark's downfall. Would they have <laughs> yeah. you to use a lot of red? <laughs> so, we help her frame him, stitching notes, stitch the... No, it does not say... We did this, and then you have to fill it in. But yeah. No. You're right. You're right. Just an observation. Well, <coughs> you could take this if you want. No, you could no. fill it in. Uh-uh. No. I'm leaving I bet he would look right. better filled in. I think so, but I'm leaving that for the okay. lucky stitcher who All finds right. that in. All right. So I'm hoping that this won't, you know, this should only take me a couple of months at yeah. the most if I you know yeah because I'm probably not gonna stitch on it ev every day no but time. yeah uh so so those are my whips all right finishes fin yes <laughs> yes I have I should finish. have gone first since yours is <laughs> much more monumental uh, than mine but anyway anyway I want to see yours also anyway <coughs> um like actually, everyone else, I've been waiting to see this. Thing. Actually, I showed it to um, to Howie. He goes, that's not finished. You don't have your initials on it oh, yet. Oh, <laughs> isn't he? Wow, isn't he observant? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, but I finished. <gasps> button up. Yay. It's just kind and, of like Groundhog Day. Yeah. Does this mean winch is over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, I chose to... Um, change the lettering. So here's the chart. Um, I changed the lettering to button from button up to the chin till May comes in winter to button up to the chin. Let the snow day fun begin. I also changed one of the blocks. <laughs> And I put in, um, from this Prairie Schooler chart, Winter Wind, I put in this little guy on the sled. So he's up here in the corner. Put him in. He didn't, it, it wasn't exactly the same dimensions as the rest, but I... You get him right in I, there. Yep, jammed him in there. And then... For the border, uh, I was very afraid that one strand, when I framed this, uh, it was going to be really difficult to um, make it straight and make it look good. We'll see what happens, but um, I had heard that some people use two strands for the back stitching and that it um, makes it look better. Um, our, our friend Maureen uh, oh, from New Jersey mm -hmm. confirmed that, mm -hmm. so, you know. I, yeah, I trust well, Maureen. Oh, I do too. So, so yeah, you anyway, should be good to go. There that it looks is. Great jam. There it yeah. is. Let's see if we can get this to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks terrific. So, and then um, I do have my new snow day start, which Ooh. I haven't started it yet. Um, but I will show you that in plans. Ooh, okay. I can't wait to see that. Okay. That so, looks terrific. So maybe look for this on a freebie table <gasps> near you. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to let you part with that one yet. <laughs> that's terrific. All right. That's my finish. How about you? I have a baby finish. <laughs> it looks familiar to people. <laughs> I had um, started this last time. I just got it and started it. And, um, you know, I've done this before. And I received a lovely completed one from Jane. <clears throat> and I happen to already have one on, on order. And I love these anyway. And it was kind of funny because, well, I've had a... I've had quite an opportunity to stitch this week because I've been, um, I need a lot of um, continuing professional ed credits and I have done a lot of sitting this week 
in front of the computer at webinars. Yeah. So I thought you were retired. Stitching. Well, you want to keep up your <clears throat> yeah, I've been, yeah, yeah, for a while, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I had a, a and I still have a lot more to do. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of time, and this kind of helped to pass <laughs> that time. Lawn. So this is one of the ones I finished, and I also worked on the Prairie School of Don't you have to like, take like, quizzes or something from the webinars? No, you actually don't okay. with these. Yeah. Right. yeah. I guess they're making it even <laughs> easier. Okay. And uh, it's kind of interactive, and <clears throat> they you ask you questions attention. as yeah. it goes along, and you, mm -hmm. you know, type in your response and that sort of thing. But um, given this time, I finished this... Um, this week and this weekend I had gone to um I, think I mentioned before how a good friend of mine lives in a monastery in Massachusetts and um some of us go to visit once a year it's always around this time of year so we went and we stay in a house in the property and there's a caretaker of the house and we've gone for lots of years now so we know Arlene pretty well and I usually try to bring Arlene a little something so I thought mm, this is a little fallish looking but of course I didn't get finished for Arlene what I planned to bring mm -hmm. <laughs> so I thought well you know we are thankful yes. always for her hospitality mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, I think this will do. So I brought that, and she opened it, and she's, oh, thank you, this is lovely. And um, Arlene seemed to think like, oh, this is a nice pillow for one ear. For one ear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm not really sure what this will be used for. <laughs> Clearly, Arlene's never taken part in a Smalls exchange. <laughs> right, right, right. So anyway, that was kind of funny. Okay, all right. Well, next year you'll have what you wanted to bring this year. Yes, finished, that's right. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I'm sure that will be show and probe the year as I work on that one. Right. Yeah. 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 So that's my big finish story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no FFOs here. No, me neither. Yeah. Tell me yeah. about your haul. Oh, okay. Well, there isn't too much to tell, but um, I've got a little bit. Okay, I told Jane I'm embarrassed to show this. <laughs> oh, I can't even really show this one. <laughs> oh, Is it yeah. A oh, yeah. Excuse me for a minute. Huh. Um, okay, so <laughs> as I said, I'm doing a lot of sitting, mm -hmm. watching these webinars, mm -hmm. and so it provides some. Sorry for the people. It provides some. Um, isn't that cheap? Yeah. It provides some, um, you know, opportunity for some easier stitching. Mm -hmm. Way back here. All right. Okay. And so Just anyway, real quick. way back here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a pine yes, mountain. Yes, it's a pine mountain. <clears throat> yes, it's June. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was on sale. <laughs> um, and, and was actually kind of disappointed. I know I have one of these sitting around somewhere. Mm -hmm. But um, they've changed, you know, as they're apt to do over the years. I don't really like, I love the picnic basket red, oh, uh, picnic tablecloth, mm. but I really like this pattern as much as the one they show in the ads, oh, but, yeah. you know, I mean, this was from 2011, so mm -hmm. you get what you pay yeah. for, I guess, something yeah. like that, Yeah. and then I did buy the spring one. This way I thought, oh, if I need a little gift, like, you know, spur of the moment, uh -huh. I'll be ready for the spring and summer season now. <laughs> and then <clears throat> this is under the category, next one, of something I've, I, I maybe even I have purchased, although I don't think so, but I've thought about for a long time. This is a cooler design studio which I think is old, but it did say, like, copyright 2021 on it. But I don't I think it's one they brought back because at least they had something very familiar before with these cowboy boots. Mm -hmm. And what I have thought of over the years is to do this and put it in our front hallway above the boot tray. Cute. Yeah. And, you know, once upon a time, I had a... Sudbury House piece mm 
mm. that was um, more of a coat rack or a key rack, and I had like little pigs. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if I still have that, but I had thought years ago about like doing this piece and putting it in there. Yeah. So uh, maybe that will still happen. The other reason I guess well, I... Well, <coughs> camping cowboy boots. <laughs> All right. Who am I? <laughs> Well, what do you think? I'll take a blind dance next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other um, thing about this that I guess makes me think it's old, other than it does look familiar to me, but is mm. there is, I don't know if it's so obvious um, here, you know, it's one of those sort of like not the picture of the real thing, but the cheap reproduction mm -hmm. they're on. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but there's tons of that. Oh, this. yeah. I mean, it just looks like that, doesn't it? Yep. Look at all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's the other part It'll of this. Be fine. But, yeah, I do love the colors mm -hmm. and everything yeah. in it. And... That'd be nice. Yeah. I think Cooler Designs has uh, uh, reproduced <coughs> or... or um... <coughs> I think okay. so too. Reprinted, yep. reprinted uh, some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I think in the old days it would have been because they did better some. Than these, they did some just the nativity papers. stuff that they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I like do like a lot of those things. old cool ones, but mm -hmm. um, it's also kind of one of those that kills me to buy it because I'm sure I had a book of theirs <laughs> at one point. <laughs> And I'd like to think this one wasn't in it. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah. not 100% sure yeah. of that. Okay, all right. Um, do so you want to talk it. about the bead? There's a... Oh, yeah. So I was at the World in Stitches um, a week ago, and uh, Linda, a frequent stitcher there, had um, this tool that many of us were very impressed with. Hmm. And it's, um, uh, Jane was showing her beading tool, which is great. And this was, um, I don't know, like maybe, I'm going to say, I don't know, 10 by 5 or something. And it had, um, it, they came in different sizes. Linda had a small one. And these had like 10 openings for various beads. So you could use 10 different colors. And then it had this great top on it that was uh, magnetized. So she could easily travel with it, keep them all separate. Um, she said it stayed on very well. Um, she was totally happy with it. And I thought I would tell you the name. It's, uh, and feel free to correct my French, mm -hmm. but it's Bijou, B-I-J-O-U, de d e re r e with a accent aigu was mm -hmm. um on it and that's an Etsy shop that you can purchase it from um i have not purchased so is it that myself, the name of the I Etsy shop too it. yes oh, yeah okay. i mean if you google that yeah it comes up right away mm -hmm. at Etsy. Yeah. um i haven't purchased it myself yet as i said to jane i think i need to actually get to the point of beading um, all these mill hills <laughs> that I've collected in order to justify that for uh, us. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. a little tip if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, worth worth checking out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have a, mine is a, like a tray that yes. has uh, rows of um, like strips in it. Each strip oh, okay. has uh, five containers and then you just pop. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean that works works okay too. Right. I actually bought this other one too. That's it's round um, with you know small round with covers on it, but they all screw into each oh, other. Oh, the beehive thing or Isn't, something. I don't know what it's called. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. I think I've seen that yeah. too. That yeah. one I don't like as much because it's a little harder to manipulate, and I've. I spilled a spilled few beads on yeah, there. Before, yeah, but. yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. My haul. Um, <clears throat> I actually have another little um, portfolio here from Studio Eighty Eight West, um, and this one has a uh, a button closure, and inside 
are lots of, um, these are lots of pockets, separate pockets for floss. And again, place for needles. And um, this is the inside fabric. And I love this um, musical um, fabric. And um, so this is smaller, um, smaller than the other one that I have. And this one um, won't, wouldn't fit, won't fit a Q-snap, um, but um, it's gonna be great to, for storage, for, oh, um, for yeah. you know, put, in, put together a small project and, and put that in there. So I'm yeah. very happy with that. And, um, so first I think, um, this is kind of, kind of goes into plans, but you'll understand why I'm telling you this. Is this the, uh, so, the reveal on the snow day? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to, um, so this is my new snow day project. Right. And... <laughs> it's a blend in place. <laughs> um, Design yourself. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's called Ooh. it's called New Snow. Now that must be an oldie with that real picture, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what the. I don't know if there's a copyright on it or not. Two thousand nine. Uh, okay, there you go. Oh, you got it signed by her too. Yeah. Um. So this is New Snow. And the Thank fabric you. that they suggest is, um, picture this plus um, jazz. So oh, I, I this know is a 28 count. Jazz before. Yeah, this is 28 count <coughs> linen. And um, so it's got some blues and purples in it. Do you find that on one, two, three? You know what? I've had this. So I, long. I can't I remember. remember. You know, yeah. th I've had this piece of fabric sitting with this project for so long. Um, and then the threads are actually, um, what did they call for? I can't remember what the name of the threads are. Oh, oh wild, wildflowers yeah, by, the, by the Karen. Yeah. No. But I looked them up and... The variegation seems very um, like stark. It's like oh, yeah, um, <clears throat> um, it's switching really from one like a drastic yeah. color change. Yeah, and I'm so I don't really like that. So I'm going to be changing to a lot of um, other glosses that I have in my stash. Right, right. Um, what do I do with that picture? Yeah. If you look at the picture, see how like it goes from like. Oh yeah. Like there's some purple. Like there's some purple in the tree. I don't know if you can really see it, but um I'm more of a natural. Yeah. 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 So I like those colors you chose in there. Yeah, actually... so I just so these are a, these are a few that I've picked out. I haven't I haven't really kitted it yet, but I've just picked some basic, you know, greens and browns and um this is called vertigree. Yeah. It's got some green and brown in it. So I might use that. Um, and then, you know, if there is, uh, you know, I, there's no DMC conversion on the chart, which is disappointing. Um, but. Um, oh, what about that? Oh. Uh, oh, so there's a DMC conversion <laughs> on the chart. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. all you're in my key yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow i didn't even see that how did i miss that well it's one of these big like unwieldy charts yeah, yeah. that's like all one page so you know that, anyway um especially for glenn in place mm -hmm. i feel like this is sort of a manageable amount of stitching don't yeah, you feel like right too yeah you know that yeah. once you've got that beautiful fabric as the background mm -hmm. um that yeah, you know, takes care of a lot of it. So, um, what they they do call for is um, TR40 Rainbow Gallery. 
um, which they don't make anymore. Oh, really? Um, but they um, they say you can substitute with PB10, which is a petite treasure braid. Okay. So this brings me to haul. <laughs> so I didn't have any. <laughs> so I needed to buy some, which I did. So while I was on one, wow. two, three. <laughs> You hardly would have wanted to place an order for well, that. What are you gonna do, right? Um, so I got I got this one, and it's one that I have had for a while that I really liked, and I've seen a lot. Um, this is called Rocking Horse Holiday, and it's from um, Artful Offerings. It is very pretty. Yeah, it's like that old world kind yes. of look. Yes, and it is. Um, all, all gentle arts threads, which I have, I think. I Ooh, think I, have, I even have all of them. Um, and this, uh, the fabric is mm -hmm. Ale by Ooh, Picture like of This Plus. Yeah. So it's a nice dark. Yeah. Um, Going to be very in keeping with the yeah. theme and tone there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah. I got that. And how big is this? Wow, this is it's two sixty five by one thirty six. <laughs> two sixty five by one thirty six. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy mackerel! Yep, you bit off more than you plan on chewing there. Wow, <laughs> you know, I guess <laughs> I'm just going by the small size. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. I figured we'd be looking at a finish on this <laughs> next episode. I know. So, Seriously. Yeah. Well, wow. they and they do have in the back here that you could turn it into a pillow. Um, and this one. A large a, pillow. Yeah, <laughs> apparently a very large pillow. Wow. -ee. Yeah. Pillow finish size is 16 and three quarters by nine and a half. Mm. Really seen that. Well, At least it's, you know, it's not full coverage. But yes. Yeah. No, it is not full coverage. So, actually, I'm looking forward to starting Oh, that. yeah, I think that'll so. be fun. And then uh, mm. Randy Randy had a sale at her shop, and I got a couple of things. This is called, um, oh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but this is an Italian design. Ve vacances. Va vacances. I think we can oh, say vacation. Vacances, yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, so this is holiday. <laughs> Holidays in uh, Italian and lots of little beach motifs. And then I got this. This was in the um, sale bin. And I actually just got it because it has these three cute little charms. <laughs> this is called Winter Splendor. Um, Dreams of Stitches is the manufacturer. And there's the chart. I actually kind of like how basic this one is. Wouldn't it be nice just to kind of stitch that? Um, and then I got, and it came with um, three charms, a snowman, a sleigh, and a, a snowflake. But look at how, look at how. Oh, that is. Minimalist yeah. that yes. is. Yes, yes, quite. And it's got the little cardinal sitting there. Yeah. Some cute little motifs. It does. Oh. And then. Um, oh, yeah. I. You know, I knew I was going to buy this, but I decided I would get it on sale. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, did I, did I say that I got these on sale at Randy's? Yes, yes. you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, she was having her um, New Year's sale. Uh, so, I got Spring Quaker by Leela's Studio. Well, that was a good plan because yeah. I bought that quite a while ago, not on sale. <laughs> and I, like, I fully kitted it. You did? Yeah. How come you haven't started it? I don't know. We should I start know. this. I think because it's 268 by 215. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that's probably why I didn't. <laughs> I bought some beautiful... I saw someone working on that at um, Stitch New England. Oh, yeah? I think a while back. Mm. On some beautiful fabric. Uh, call for is the... call for is sand dune by seraphim i think i bought seraphim but i can't swear to that 
and she, I don't think I had quite, like she was doing it on her, I'm not sure it was seraphim, but I, I believe the person I saw working on was like, say, doing it on hibiscus, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful, and you had told me about Stitcher's Garden in yeah. Arkansas, yep. who's, you know, very customer service oriented, mm -hmm. and I think like they didn't have that, but they had persimmon and the woman had like the two of them out looking at them or something and I got whatever she had. Uh -huh. And so I guess all this is to say, I don't have any excuse for not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's loads of specialty flosses. I think I got them all. And Oh yeah. 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 So it's um, about half DMC, maybe a little less. And the rest are classic color works. Yeah. Yeah. But it is yeah. beautiful. And I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure that there's a sale going on for this. It so probably you could, is. You could probably find yeah. it. So there's no excuse. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I guess we know your plans are. Yeah, right. <laughs> My plan is to, uh, to finish some of the uh, BAPs that I currently have. <laughs> That's so. a tall order. Mm -hmm. no. uh, well, uh, so we had our new numbers picked uh, for February. Mm -hmm. The Bosney by Kathy at uh, um, Two Needles Pulling Thread. And... I had, so we we're down to, well, we're pretty much down to two picks per month now, but yeah. she did pick the freebie. That's right. The freebie that, That's right. The, the free space. What are, you, are you putting something in that free space or? I'm just kind of coasting at yeah. this point <laughs> in the month. You know, it's yeah. only the fifth. Yeah. So I'm sure she picked it in the shortest month of the year <laughs> for a reason. I can't. <laughs> so as I think I alluded to, I have um, five days on a prairie schooler. Mm -hmm. So I certainly am going for a finish on Prairie Schooler Santa 2012 number two. Okay. All right. And um, oh, what test are you? I had the Mill Hill. So I don't know. I to what? Like, start a mill hill? or Well, just work on a mill hill oh. five days. So maybe okay. I'll extend that. I will extend that mill hill Monday to war. So hmm. who knows? I might get a finish on camping out. I might get a finish on pomegranate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All the stitching's <laughs> done on that, ago. right? All the stitching is done. I only okay. have the beading on that. So I have a lot of Mill Hill options mm, there. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's good. Do you want to circle back to um, Last Stitch Cemetery? Mm -hmm. Get five real days of stitching. Very good. On that. Yes. Yes. Um, and then on the 14th, yes. um, there's going to be a sale starting. Um, uh, Strawberry Fair. Oh, oh right. Um, Oh, what's who's the designer? Um, October Stitches, is it? No, it's October, October Fiber Arts. Something like that. Um, you talk. I'll uh, okay. I'll research. Okay, um, and I don't have I don't even have the chart with me, but um, go check it out. It's really pretty, um, and uh, it's being the cell. I that too. I didn't. The cell's being hosted by October uh, House Fiber Arts. Oh, there you go. Oh, can we show the picture? Yeah. Okay. I love this from the minute it came out. That was my favorite from mm. Market last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. So the sale is being hosted by um, Helen. But D. don't go to one, two, three to buy it because it's temporarily out of stock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get it um, at Cobweb Corner. Oh, good point. Um, the owner of Cobweb Corner. Um, I can't think of what her name is right now, but um, go to her site. Uh, you'll be able to get the chart. You'll be able to um, get the threads. Um, she is hosting it also uh, along with Helen D. And that is starting February 14th with uh, hoping to... Don't get any chocolate on it. Hoping to finish <laughs> by the end of February. Wow. Yeah. Well, L and D, I'm sure, well, will finish yeah. by the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so me, I'm yeah. not so sure about. It. 
Uh, but I, I do love that piece. Yeah. And I just happened to notice um, it's 91 by 62. Oh, so, there you go. Yeah. I did get the call for 30 count baby's breath linen for that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And it's um, all week style work and classic color works threads, I believe. Okay. Yeah, that, um, that strawberry alone. I mean, yeah, just look at that. <laughs> Ooh, gorgeous. It's awesome. <laughs> yep. Um, so my boss me um, were, one was to um, start and finish a small, uh, which I'm hoping I'll be able to. Oh, and we'll be that... knocking those out left and right. <laughs> And then secret, not secret. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. Um, so to start and finish a small, and then the other one was the freebie, um, which I am not going to do anything in the free space. I'm just going to take it as a as a as a free space. Yeah, I guess I know what I'm doing with my freebie now. <laughs> um. And then, let's see, start and finish a small, what was my other one? Um, oh, uh, so I have, um, I'm doing lettering, um, and I have um, Warner Brothers, um, uh, a book of Warner Brothers letters. And my last name is Sylvester, if you um, are the, one of our first time viewers. Um, so I am doing my husband's name and my name in the Sylvester the cat letters. So for yeah, bot, halfway there. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, so I haven't, I've, I haven't quite finished my husband's name. I've, oh, okay. I finished all the letters, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm making all of the letters full coverage so I oh, haven't filled in the background right. of the letters yeah, yet. Yeah. Um, and I'm doing that background one over That's a one. great retreat thing. Though, it is, yeah. It? If I can yeah. get that done, yeah. So um, what I need to do is put in the amper stand because his name is going to be on the top. I'll mm -hmm. put and, and then I have to um, chart out. Well, I don't have to chart it out, but I got to like figure out where yeah. to start. Right. 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 Um, so the, the, the boss me was to start the amper stand and to start my name. Okay. So at least I'll know like where to, right. where, right. where to put it. Oh, um, good. That'll be a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then my other plan is, um, to keep working on some smalls. I really want to get, um, I want to do a bunch of smalls so then I'll have them for retreats. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Have you lo looked at any of the um, National Needlework Market stuff you know, that's come you know, out? I, haven't, I mean, I know I've seen some things, mm -hmm. but... Um, yeah, I have oh, maybe, some sneak peeks. I was going to say nothing comes to mind, but I'm sure I've seen some hands-on design that have caught mm -hmm. my attention mm -hmm. no doubt um yeah. kathy always does such beautiful thing mm -hmm. um but no i haven't paid a ton of attention to it um because i am trying to hold off till we go to stitch north oh yeah in april mm -hmm. um in terms of purchasing them yeah I yeah, imagine yeah. there'll be a lot of temptation there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to do my, you know, everybody's, a lot of people are talking about stitch your stash this year. Yeah. And I'd like yeah. to, I would really like to do that because I have so many charts that I love and I right. really want to do. Yeah, and it's um, whenever you happen to visit them. Yeah. Don't you like, you know, <laughs> right. you see them like again with yeah. new eyes kind right. of. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to yeah. do this. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. so yeah, um, I haven't really seen anything that I absolutely have to have. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that'll do it for us then. All right. So, so see you again soon. Then. Yeah. Yeah. See you, um, see you in about two weeks. Mm -hmm. So until then, um, happy stitching and uh, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.